Somebody tell me why water tastes so good right now. Hey guys, my name is Garrett Hahn and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I feel like I start every video off by saying I'm so excited, but genuinely I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I am literally 105,000% a creature of habits. So when I find makeup products that I really like, I always find myself grabbing for them and I never really branch out from what I'm used to and try new products. So when I tell you that I am literally forcing myself to do this video, I am forcing myself to do this video. We have a bunch of products right here that we are going to be testing out today. I am so excited to try some new things and hopefully I am going to find some new favorites that I can use all the time. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> so if this is your guys' first time seeing my face on your computer screen, hello and welcome. Thank you guys so much for spending some time out of your day to hang out with me and talk about makeup because honestly, what is better than just talking about makeup? But this is also coming from a makeup junkie, so... But if you guys want to become a part of this family that's growing here on YouTube, and if you just want to join the madness, honestly, that is my channel, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And also, if you guys want to be notified every single time that I upload, you can press the bell notification to the right of the subscribe button, since apparently YouTube likes to play games and not notify subscribers when new uploads come out. So, with that being said, if you guys want to do that and be a part of the notification squad, then feel free to press the bell button. But with all that being said, I really want to keep today's intro short, sweet, and to the point because I am like itching to try new makeup. Honestly, this video could go one of two ways. It could be amazing and I could find literally some holy grail products or it could be messy AF. So we will see. If you guys want to see what happens, then obviously keep on watching and let's get started. I have literally a whole drawer right here full of makeup that is new and stuff that I have been wanting to try but I have been putting off trying. I have foundation from past launches so I have this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I have been really wanting to try that. And then I also got this, why am I even talking about foundation? I need to prime my skin. Okay, back up Garrett, back up. Also I need to take off my glasses that way I don't get makeup all over them, hello. Welcome. This right here is my primer drawer. <laughs> and out of that primer drawer, I probably only use two. So this is the primer that we are going to try today. Apply a dime size onto your fingers. This is the thick, it feels like I'm rubbing honey all over my face. And I am not sure if I, I'm into that. Okay, so this primer is way sticky. I don't know if I like it or not. Obviously, I'll know once I apply the foundation to my skin, but this primer, you guys, when I tell you it is sticky, the foundation that we are going to use today is from Revolution Makeup. This is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. It had me at full coverage. You guys know I'm a full coverage queen, so anything I can do to literally hide my face I'm sold. I did not go out and purchase this foundation. It was sent to me in PR. Um, so they shade matched me and normally when that happens, it's not correct. So we are literally just going to hope and pray for the best because if this doesn't match me. So right away, I'm already loving this little applicator. It almost reminds me of like the Tarte Shape Tape if it were like double the size, which I am so here for. So we are going to see, I don't know how much, this could be amazing or terrible because I am putting on a lot. Blend that out with my beauty blender and see what is happening. By the way, just so you guys know, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I did go ahead and do my brows off of camera because I can hardly do my brows to save my life. So incorporating new brow products, I wanted to at least have something work for today's video. So that's why my brows are on. The only thing right now that I'm not really liking is the primer and that is only because I prefer a pore filling primer and this one was just kind of like a tacky one. So you can like see my man pores shining through this foundation. So I honestly, so far am not here for that. Ooh, that noise. I hope you guys are having a great week. 
This is what the foundation looks like up close. I mean, it looks phenomenal, but when I am looking at it super up close, I can see my pores shining through, which is not what I want to happen. So unfortunately, I don't know if I'm like a huge fan of this. So when Makeup Revolution sent the foundation, they also sent me my shade in the, well, I think it's going to be my shade. We are going to see, but they also sent a concealer with it. This is in the shade C3. I don't I don't think I've tried this before. I'm not sure. This is the one that everybody was comparing to Shape Tape. I am hoping that this is my shade. It is a little bit, I think, yeah, I think this is my shade. My mood is concealing everything today. I want to hide my past, present, and future. I am excited to try this actually because I feel like everybody's been talking about it besides me. And then obviously I'm going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. And let's see what this is looking like. Hmm. So it is currently 11 p.m. at night. I am filming. I don't know why I'm filming, but I'm filming because I'm trying to be more consistent <laughs> on YouTube. So I have a flight tomorrow morning at seven. I have to leave the house at seven. The flight's at 9.45, but I'm so excited because I'm going home for the holidays, I'm, I haven't, I feel like I haven't seen my family for like months. I feel like it's been a very, very long time. I'm a super like family oriented person. I love, love seeing my family. So being away from them for so long has definitely been like something to get used to. That's happening, I'm super excited, but my mood is getting literally no sleep and being a zombie going through airport. Airport security sounds like hell right now. It blended out so well, and the coverage is like there.com. So the powder that we are going to try today is from Milani. It is in the shade 01 Translucent Light to Medium. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be too yellow because my issue with translucent powders is that they are always too yellow for me. Can anyone with nails relate to peeling these back? I cannot get this to save my life. I always have to like yank out the tweezers. Thank Jesus. I know a lot of people like dump powder into the cap, but I normally just take it out of here. I don't, I don't know, that's just what I do. So looking at this powder, I can already tell right now it is going to be way too yellow for me, but we are just going to see what happens. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like yellow. I'm going to move on to bronzing my skin because I am looking so pasty. I am trying the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer today and I have heard nothing but amazing things about this bronzer. This is one of my sister's all-time favorites. I remember growing up, she would always have this like in her little makeup collections. It's like everybody's holy grail bronzer, so can it please be mine too? I don't really feel like this bronzer is doing anything. So this bronzer definitely, definitely has some kind of sparkle in it. The only reason why I don't like using bronzers with any kind of like metallic or reflex or anything in it is because I feel like it just makes me look greasy. And I have like normal combo skin, so throughout the day, obviously like my T-zone especially is going to get mad oily. I'm just going to stop while I am ahead as I keep blending. So something that I'm noticing about this bronzer is that it is like clinging to certain areas of my face. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's really intense right here and here. And then like a few places on like my cheekbones and stuff. So I don't think so. Wow, I look like it. Greasy pizza. This is what I am using for contour today. This is the Emphasize Cream Accentuate Taupe. Oh, those are the shade names. This, <laughs> this is the Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contouring Palette. As you guys can see, you have obviously three shades here for highlighting, three shades here for contouring. I'm going to be using the contouring side. Today, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is Sculpt and on the M405 brush from Morphe. I am going to go ahead and contour my face. This is my all time favorite brush to contour with. Well, I'm like going in on my face today, oh my God.
I don't like my nose contour to be like super warm or super cool. I like it somewhere in the middle. And I do feel like the shade that I'm using for my nose contour is Sculpt. And I feel like this is kind of like the perfect in between of cool and warm tone. So I am really, really liking this for my nose contour. Now that contouring is done, I am going to blush up my face. You guys know I love Love my blush. I have heard really good things about the new flower. I, well, I don't think this is new. I've heard good things about the Flower Beauty Flower Pots. This is in the shade Wild Rose. And you guys, this is a super, super pretty pink color. I am going to, wow, hello, kickback. <sighs> Using my E4 brush from Morphe, I am going to blush, oh, that is pretty. Pretty. Hit this cheekbone with this blush. Oh my gosh, you guys, this blush is so freaking pretty. So on my Instagram videos, obviously, I'm, I'm sure most of you watch my Instagram videos, but for whatever reason, people get so triggered when I put blush on my nose. I don't know what it is. Again, I don't really have a, or I don't have a real reason why I blush my nose. I just, I just like it. I think it's pretty. I think it ties everything together. So this next product has been sitting in my new stuff to try out drawer for probably three months at this point. This is the Supreme Frost Highlighter from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Wet Dream. You guys know that I love a good intense blinding highlighter. So I'm hoping that this is what we are going to get today. Real fast before we apply highlighter, I am going to moisturize my face a little bit with some setting spray, Fix Plus. Whatever you use is fine. I'm going to mist my face real fast with the Hangover um, RX Primer from Too Faced just to kind of get a little bit of moisture back into my face. I am going to highlight with a Morphe M501 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to highlight with. I also really like the R36. This is more of like a tapered fluffy brush. Love that for highlighting, but this is my current obsession. Oh, bitch. This is what the shade looks like when it is swashed, as you guys can see. If you guys aren't into like glittery highlighters, you probably won't like this one much because it is more of like obviously a glittery highlight. I. Again, love my glow to be intense. I want to signal to space. I want to be the first human to talk to an alien and that's going to happen through my highlight. So, okay. So I have three different palettes here that I'm debating on which one to use for my eyes today. I have the Greek Goddess palette from Lunar Beauty. I also have the Dream palette from Sigma Beauty. This is the collab that they did with Beauty Bird. And last but not least, I have the Naked Cherry palette from Urban Decay. I think for today's video, I'm going to go with the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette. I've been really wanting to play around with this one and I love the shadows from the Life's a Drag palette. So I really do want to try out these shadows to see if they are comparable to the Life's a Drag palette. Today, I'm going to keep things super chill. I'm going to just do like a pretty like, it's going to be glam obviously, but it's just going to be like a more neutral kind of like moment. So to start things off, I am going to take the shade Cleo from the Greek Goddess palette on my Morphe M441 brush and we are going to start blending that into the crease and already I can tell that these shadows are pretty pigmented and easy to blend. If you guys have tried the Life's a Drag palette, you know that those shadows are super, super easy to blend out. And then also make sure you're taking that shadow towards the inner corner because we really want the socket to look defined. And then next I'm going to use the Morphe M433 brush and we are going to go into the shade Persephone to deepen the crease a little bit further. With this shade specifically, I'm not going to take it in towards the inner corner because I want the inner corner to be soft yet defined. So, does that make sense? We want the focus and the depth to be towards the out. Wow, these shadows are so easy to blend. Dip into Artemis to deepen the crease a little bit more and add a little bit of warmth because this is a warm toned shadow. I am deepening up the corner. I'm not really taking it towards the middle anymore. So we have that really nice gradient. I am picking up the M167 brush and dipping into Aphrodite and Rhea. Is that how you say it? Rhea? Ray? Ray? Maybe? Ray? And then we are going to start packing that on the outer corner of our eye, push it back into the crease a little bit. 
And then once we have those colors pressed, I am going to take the same Morphe M433 brush that we have been using, and then we are going to diffuse and soften those edges a little bit because we want our edges snatched and secure and seamless. Lastly, taking Aphrodite alone, I am going to pack that onto the very outer corner of the eye. Take what's left on the brush and start to kind of just like drag that towards the inner corner, but don't do too much because again, these shadows are very pigmented. Now that we have all the matte shadows down, I want to kind of bring a little more attention to my eyes with some of the shimmers. So next on my Morphe M213 brush, I am going to dip into the shade Athena and I am going to pop that on my brow bone. And what is an eye look if you don't have an inner corner? Oh, inner corners. So I'm going to keep the lower lash line super simple. I am going to take my Morphe M506 brush and the shade Artemis, and I am going to smoke that on the lower lash line just to give it a little bit of warmth and depth because I feel like not having anything on the lower lash line would just look weird, especially with this look. So I'm just going to lightly dust that on. This is obviously a new product for me. It is from Artist Couture and it is the Diamond Lights Finisher in the shade Spotlight Glitz. I've seen Angel use this on his Instagram story and on the Artist Couture page and it looks so, so sickening. This is what is going to go on my lid because I want something super reflective and sparkly. From what I have seen on Instagram, it looks like the best way to apply it is with your finger. So I am going to take my ring finger and dab it in here and then we are going to oh my god that is so pretty i am going to go ahead and apply it to my oh the only thing that i will say about this product is make sure you go in with a light hand at first because it is falling out all over my face, and that is because honestly, I went in with so much product. So this is what the eye is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera. I am going to add a wing, some falsies, and some mascara, but once that is all applied, I will be back, and then I think we only have a few more products left, a lip, and I think that's it. We have added a little more drama to the eyes, a nice wing and some lashes. I am wearing the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami today. You can use code GARE for 10% off your entire purchase if y'all want to save some coin tata on some fake lashes. We love a good discount. We love a coupon queen. These are honestly some of my favorite lashes. They are on their last leg though. They are looking crusty, dusty and busty. The last thing we have before this look is complete is to add a lip. I am so excited to try out this bullet lipstick from Patrick Starr's fifth collab with MAC. This is in the shade Peachy Peter. This is what Peachy Peter looks like once it is applied to the lips. I really do like this color. However, I think it is a little bit too light for me. Just a little bit too light. So what I'm going to do just to kind of like darken up my lips a little bit, this was actually kind of the perfect thing to happen because I have been wanting to try the new Lunar Beauty lip gloss. This is in the shade Celine. Hopefully it will darken them up a little bit and if it doesn't then it's just going to add a little extra shine just to kind of like separate my, I don't know, I don't know. We are just going to apply it and hope for the best. When I tell you that this gloss is so comfortable, it literally just feels like I'm wearing nothing on my, oh my God, this gloss is so comfortable. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so, so much fun trying out some new products. It is very rare that I do like a full face of like new products. So I'm really happy that I did this and I did find some new products today that I feel like are going to be incorporated into my daily routine now. So I'm really excited about that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys, for whatever reason, are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, 
feel free to click that subscribe button down below to become a part of this growing fam on YouTube. Also, thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me, talk about makeup, and watch this video. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Also, if you guys want to follow me around on my other social media, it is at omgitsgear on Twitter and Instagram. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will be seeing all of you in my next video. Bye, guys.